Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We are honored to have some very special guests today from Boston. We have Dr. Charles Jacobs. You may know him as the founder uh, of a very famous organization fighting against anti-Semitism on the East Coast, Americans for Peace and Tolerance. Uh, welcome, Dr. Jacobs. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, it's such a pleasure and an honor to have you today. And I understand you have brought along a special guest. Yes, um, we're very lucky to have with us uh, a man who just wrote a book on the topic that we're about to discuss. His name is Ilya Feoktistov, and he is the executive director of my organization, Americans for Peace and Tolerance. And uh, as you'll see, he's, he's wonderful. Wonderful is great, and uh, welcome to both you gentlemen. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report today. There's really two issues. You know, when you talk about actual terrorism happening, that's the culmination of radicalizing people and energizing them to go do something against the enemy, the non-believer, which is pretty much all of us. Um, and then there's the education that's going on that may be planting the seed into thousands. I, I'm gratified by what you're saying as far as the recent news, meaning, well, terror incidents have gone down since Trump has been president. What's going on in the mosque specifically? Is the hatred still spewing out? You know, you're, you're absolutely right to make this point because uh, we have a moderate, an authentically moderate Muslim uh, uh, on our board. And he, he, this is how he says it. What you really have to worry about maybe is not so much the guy who goes and lights the fuse to, to a, a you know, pressure cooker bomb or whatever. You have to worry about the bomb in the heart, the bomb in the hearts of those thousands of young people that is being planted there daily by the curricula and the teachings of these radicals who've taken over the American Muslim institutions. And Ilya has found, um, he's got special ways of finding these things. He has found the actual curriculum. And it's a three year process. And they bring people in for, you know, they first figure out who they can trust by a series of moves, you know, the, the, those who look the most religious, let's have them off in a study group. And within that study group, the ones who look the most determined, let's make them off into the core study group, right? So this is how the communists did it, by the way, with cell building. Um, and then they take them in for a three-year workshop course where they read, eventually, all of the how to be a jihadi, and you have to be a jihadi, and here's what you have to think, and eventually, we're not ready yet, we're not ready yet, but someday we'll, we'll be ready to do physical attacks. So this is all happening, and the only problem they have is that, you know, when you tell young people uh, not, not, to, not to do radical things right now, but later, they don't all, you know, they don't all listen, just like ours don't. So the, once in a while, they will prematurely set off bombs when, in fact, the Muslim radicals would be much better off had that not happened and be quiet, let us grow and let us grow and let us grow. So you're absolutely right. It's the bomb in the heart that's the problem. Well, that's what concerns me, honestly, the most, Charles. If, if you have one incident, but you have a thousand ready to go, yeah. just waiting for the whistle, right? Or the orders that come through the internet, you know, through drop boxes and uh, secret cutouts to go blow up a train or a plane or a factory or, God forbid, be in a football stadium on a Sunday with 60,000 people in the stands. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's terrifying. And that's terror. That's the purpose. Um, unless the story changes. In other words, you stop telling people to kill the ones that aren't like you. You stop saying you can't rest until the flag of the caliphate flies over the Capitol and 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah. Those thoughts are planted and they're growing. 
and they're fermenting over time. Am I, am I wrong? No, I think you're right. And I think that uh, the, the, the problem is actually, again, less them than the leftist ideology that doesn't permit us to see that, right? And I'm afraid that, you know, people like Ilya and I have been working for the last decades to try to prevent violence and damage and terror by the use of logic and reason. And I'm afraid, I think we're afraid that it, it, logic and reason are not determinative and that it's only going to be blood in the streets that, that changes people's minds. And this is a terrible thing to say, but I've come to the conclusion that uh, we're not going to win by logic and reason alone. It's going to, uh, people are going to have to feel more pain than they're feeling right now uh, to react and to reject and to overthrow this, uh, this ideology that blinds us. Would you say that the Jewish community specifically, since Jews are the big target of this ideology, are waking up or are they still sleeping right through it? Well, I think uh, because of the uh, enormous increase in the attacks on Jews, uh, being shot in Jersey City, being bullied every day in Brooklyn, uh, be, synagogues being uh, 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 attacked with guns and people being murdered. I think I can tell you that the Jews are scared, more so than ever before. And this will only increase. Now, how scared they have to be to change their foolish, flaccid leadership which is wedded to leftist ideology, we don't know. And Ilya and I and our, our partner, Avi Goldwasser, are announcing very shortly a call to the Jewish community to overthrow its failed leadership. Um, and, um, and we hope it doesn't take more blood in the streets for these things to happen, but we fear that it might. My sense is there's going to have to be a come to Moses discussion among the American Jews who are going to say, you know what, we're threatened by this. It's not a philosophical discussion. It's an existential discussion. People that openly, brazenly, daily call for our deaths are to be confronted and not ignored. And we insist and will not stop until it stops. That is going to have to happen sooner rather than later. Well, that's exactly what we are calling for. We want, you know, there are millions of uh, Jewish people around the country who kind of understand that their leadership has failed them. It's failed them with the media, on campuses, in the K-12 curriculum, in the liberal churches, and now in half of the Democratic Party. Uh, so it's now time for a Jewish spring. It's now time for all of us who think the thoughts that we think to openly revolt against this failed Jewish leadership, which has been cowardly and, 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 and ignorant and foolish and self-serving. Uh, now is the time. Yeah, the more appropriate term is come to the Maccabees moment. <laughs> Touche. Especially during Hanukkah, a perfect analogy. Um, Ilya, tell people where they can find your book. I think this is important. The book is available on Amazon, Terror in the Cradle of Liberty is its name. And you can also find it uh, through our website, peaceandtolerance.org, uh, which also includes many articles on this and many other topics of interest to the viewers. Thank you for that. And I encourage ATP viewers to go out and get it. Charles, how can people find out more about what you're doing? From our website, uh, Americans for Peace and Tolerance website, which is peaceandandtolerance.org, as Ilya said. I also have a site about um, the enslavement of blacks currently around uh, in, in Africa by mostly by Muslims and, and, and Arabs. It's called I Abolish, the letter I Abolish.org. Um, and they can, they can find out everything that I'm doing through those two sites, pretty much. Great. I encourage all of our viewers to check out Ilya's book and check out uh, the foundation in Boston. This is stuff we need to know about. I want to thank you both for the work you're doing. You're brave gentlemen in the face of 
tolerance that is truly pacifism. And um, generally what happens to people like that is they get run over and later generations lament, why didn't we do something when we knew what was going on? Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for joining us today on ATP Report. Uh, remember, you can always go to our, our text message service and get reports like this one for free on your phone. Simply text the message TRUTH to 88202 and you'll be subscribed to our text message service. You'll always get everything for free. We don't charge for content and you'll get it every couple of days right on your cell phone. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.